Hey guys, welcome to part two of our nursery vlog. If you missed part one, we built this giant wardrobe from Ikea and it took a very long time, but it is amazing and we love it. We also got some shelves put up and then started trying to organize all of the baby stuff that we have. Okay, now that you're all caught up, let's move on to part two. Well guys, it is weeks later. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I'd be able to organize all of that stuff in one afternoon. Obviously I could not, but I've gotten there now. Everything is semi-organized in boxes. Now I'm just trying to figure out where to put it in the wardrobe. So we're just gonna go through and try to figure out where to put things and then this project will be done. I'm so excited to get the stuff off of the floor and tables and countertops because it's been a mess lately. Hello guys, it is almost the middle of December already and I am just about 32 weeks pregnant which is crazy but I finally decided it's time to officially decorate the shelves and the wall behind me. I had some stuff up there but I wasn't happy with it so I'm gonna officially try to figure out how I want it to look today. I, um, I've got some paintings that I need to hang up, some little buntings, and I have some cute little stuffed animals and books that I want to put on the shelf. So that is what I'm going to do right now. And I feel like it's going to take a while because I get out of breath so easily and I just feel so large. Let me show you. This is what my bump is looking like now. It's huge. <sighs> I get tired so easily, but I'm going to get this done today and I'm so excited because it's going to look really cute. I bought several prints on Etsy that I love so much. Um, they're all by the same artist. I will link her down below because I cannot think of her name right now, but look at how cute that is. Then I have this one. I'm just covering that up because it has the baby's name on it, but so cute. I've had an issue <laughs> with buying books. I I just, I'm so excited to buy books for the baby and not even just for like when she's very, very little, but like as she grows up, cause I just have so many memories, of, like so many good memories of books that I read when I was little, like elementary school and stuff. So these are some of the books that I, I mean, I have I got a lot of books, but these I'm gonna use to decorate the shelf just because they're kind of, I think they're for older, like I would say elementary to middle school kids, probably elementary. Um, we've got stories from Moomin Valley. The Moomins and the Great Flood. <laughs> and the adventures of Gerald Ke Geraldine Woolikins. <laughs> so they're not for baby yet, but they're so cute and I love the illustrations. So I'm going to put them on the shelf. Okay guys, we're finally done with this room. It's just taken us forever to get here, but we're finally a here. Hours. <laughs> a couple hours. So we're gonna show you everything that we've done and how we've organized. 
This is our shared office slash nursery. So in that corner over there, as Sprinkles just pointed to, is Sarah's computer. And my computer's over there. And then obviously you can probably see behind me is the nursery corner. So my lovely assistant decided to leave me. She did not like the rocking chair. So now I have my second assistant. <laughs> and this is a nice rocking chair that we bought and Sarah's gonna be able to use this for like nursing the baby and just kind of like swaying back and forth. And we also have like a bin full of some stuffed animals that hopefully the baby will play with at some point when they're a little bigger. <laughs> And lastly, we have this pillow here, and we th figured that we could lay this on the ground and she could use it for, you know, when she's playing. <laughs> Sprinkles wants to play on it. No, her. Sprinkles. It's <laughs> not for you. This is how baby's going to play with her stuffed animals and her little tower of rings. As you saw earlier, we have this shelf over here with just some decorations on it and some cute toys. This isn't even a baby toy. This is my Christmas decoration. <laughs> we had to hide from the cats, so we put it up there. They try to eat it. In this little nook over here, I have a table, which I thought could be really useful to put drinks and snacks on when I'm nursing. And I have this little lamp here as well. And then next to it, I have a toki mat, which I'm really excited about. Springs, are you gonna help me with the toki mat? What do you think about this mat? So this is basically just another play mat for the baby. This is an actual play mat, not just like that little pillow that we have. And I just like to keep it put away in this bag so the cats don't play on it and destroy it. Oh, it's squishy, huh? <laughs> You don't want to kill it up. Okay, so inside the closet, we finally oh. have it organized. It's so exciting. <laughs> this up here, we have the baby's clothes, and I have everything kind of in the semi order of age range. <laughs> so we start off with newborn, and then we have zero to three months, and then three to six months. And everything that I have beyond that, we're just going to keep in a tub for now because it, there's no need for it to be in the closet. On this shelf here, I have my diaper bag. This is a duffel bag that we can use for overnight for baby. And it's also the bag I'm planning on bringing to the hospital for baby. In this bin, we have baby socks. And then in this one, we have pants and like sweatsuit outfits. Okay, on the second shelf, we have baby's hats and also some little like head, pe head pieces, <laughs> also some little bows and stuff for her head. And in this one we have swaddles and um, the Solly baby wrap carrier. And then in here we have bibs and these are just like little muslin burp cloths. They're little muslin sheets that we can use for like anything. <laughs> and finally in this bin I just have like some random stuff <laughs> that I didn't know where to put there. Some binkies in here and bottles. Actually, that's all that's in here are binkies and bottles. And I'm assuming that these will not stay in here once baby's born and is using them. But for now, this is where I'm storing them and it's just nice to have them out of the way. And down here, we have some muslin swaddles and some blankets and some more burp cloths. This is the smaller cabinet, and on this shelf, I have some breastfeeding supplies, I think. I think that was in here. Yes. Yeah, this is all breastfeeding supplies. I also have some artwork stashed up here that I plan to get framed. I just am not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet, so I've been putting that off and it's just staying there. Here we have some extra diapers. Actually, we have so many diapers. I know that we'll, we'll use them all, but we just have nowhere to keep them. So this is like some overflow diapers. We have a lot of them on the top shelf in the bigger part of the wardrobe. And down here we have this plastic bin, which I have like extra bath stuff in. So this will be just like extras we have of 
shampoo and body lotion and such. And then in here we have other toiletry products. This one is like, there's like a saline mister in here, there's nail clippers, and all of those like ear, nose, and what is the other fourth thing? And that ear and nose picker and booger pickers and stuff. <laughs> this is for our diaper caddy. It's not gonna stay in here, but I have it in here for now. It has some newborn diapers in it and some diaper creams. And I'm just storing it right here for now. In this bin we have bath stuff. This is our blooming bath mat for when baby's taking baths. And then we have a bunch of towels in here. And behind there we have a breast, there's just a breast pump. <laughs> Sarah has asked me to step in to talk about the most important thing that we have in this cabinet. These two pull-out drawers full of wipes. <laughs> we have a lot of wipes. You know, they're both very full with wipes, so I think we should be set on wipes at least for a little while. I know we're going to go through them, just like the diapers I know Sarah already mentioned. But we do have quite a good stash of them for now. <sighs> well, as you can hear, Sarah's <laughs> Sarah's petered out. <laughs> okay guys, that is all we have for our nursery slash office room. It's been a long time <laughs> putting this all together, but I'm really happy with how it came out. This thing is like the best investment that we have made for baby because it just stores everything that we need it to store. You say it's for baby, but I think you just <laughs> Okay, really where would it. we put Obviously it's, it, it's got all the baby stuff, stuff in it, but I don't where know. Where would we have put all that stuff? Yeah, and we could have just but either way, it'd be in piles. If we didn't have that, it'd be piles <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, that's how I was Andrew gonna say would we like could it. have like little hefty bins or something. But you know. no, that's it's been so helpful. So it is nice. It's very organized. Yeah, it'll it'll be nice because we'll know where everything is, and mm -hmm. it'll just make it easier for when baby comes here. We're also working on another video right now because we are doing a little bit of a makeover of our bedroom because that's where baby is going to be sleeping for several for several months of her life and our bedroom <laughs> is quite tiny and didn't have a lot of space and it just wasn't suited for having a bassinet in there so we have been putting a lot of work into that we got some new furniture and have done some organizing and we're gonna have um the baby's changing table in there and a lot of diaper storage and stuff so that video will be coming out very soon so yeah look yeah. out for it on the channel yeah it's crazy. It's crazy that we are getting all this stuff done. It's kind well, of been I mean, looming over a, us. <laughs> you're only a couple months away now, so. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that if you're planning your nursery and you have a small space that you found this inspiring because it, it is challenging when you have a small space. You know, we don't have a lot of room, but we are making it work. And I think how we organized everything, it's going to be really nice so yeah I'm really happy with how everything turned out and I hope you guys found this inspiring and I'd love to hear any tips that you have below or any recommendations for how we could improve our space or anything you saw that we don't have that we should have <laughs> because we don't know what we're doing so all right thank you guys so much for watching we really appreciate it and we will see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.